Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I'm back yet again with yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. And today we're heading over to Greenwich Village to grab the old slice of the pizza pie because we're heading to Roy's. Everyone remembers Roy's, right? Famous original Roy's, Roy's original famous. You get the idea, because, uh, yeah, from San Diego Comic-Con, they were giving out Kino with Scooter promotions, right? Of course, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Use, STCC 2023 NECA Toys exclusive. Right here on the side, we don't want any of those anchovies. Comes with an action figure, keychain, a t-shirt, and the Employee of the Month card, and, of course, a sweet magnet. But if I have to be honest with you, I'm really just after... The figure. Now, I did have a good laugh. I was carrying this out from SDCC on preview night and was listening to the conversations around me going, oh, that guy's got pizza. We should get pizza tonight. Sounds pretty good. But like a pizza box, you open it up just as so. And inside, you get a bunch of things. Like I said, I'm mainly after the action figure. Some of it is very tchotchke ish. It, I, I know it packs the box, but it's really not for me. Like the employee of the month card. It's funny, but. Yeah, you know, you get a moped scooter magnet, right, from Roy's. It's funny, I guess. <laughs> None of this stuff I need, right? The one thing, though, I will say, I do appreciate the t-shirt. It's not electric yellow. It's just a white t-shirt. It says Roy's Greenwich Village. It looks like an actual pizza place. And for those of you Ninja Turtle fans out there, you'll definitely get it if you see me wearing it, right? Now, with the keychain... I guess I can see putting that on my keychain car key. Yeah, you know I mean, it's it's fine for what it is. But the action figure is really what I'm after, to be honest with you. If you like all that stuff, price aside, you know, 100 bucks, you get all that kind of stuff. But it's SDCC prices. I get it. They're trying to pack the box a little bit. But you can see Kino in there. A couple extra hands, head, portrait, TMNT, two, the secret of the use, on the sides of the box. And really nice photos as such. It's got that movie packaging to it on the back side you get a nice photo of ernie reyes jr as kino as an action figure you gotta include all of that various photos here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure so thank you very much to that and a special shout out to ernie reyes jr that's pretty cool here's the barcode you're not gonna need that this is an sdcc exclusive so in the meantime we're gonna sit back relax we're gonna grab ourselves a nice hot slice of the old pizza pie this is a look at the SDCC San Diego 2023 exclusive for the convention, and I said that really weird, Kino with Scooter. And of course, once you get the box open and you slice it up just right, you get to see Kino and all his accessories out of the box, right? So that's pretty darn cool. It's a figure and a vehicle combo. He does come with some extra hands, you basically get three pairs of hands. You got punching hands and gripping hands, and you got outstretched hands, right? Really nice head portrait. This is the extra one right here. He's got a little smirk and a smile to him. All that charm of Kino from TMNT2, right? Very nicely done. Now, this right here is the little black box. It says Roy's on the sides and at the top, and it's a little carry case, right? You see the little three holes on the bottom side right there and this is actually pretty cool it's a nice little setup it does open up it does lock accordingly you're not gonna have any problems it's not loose so that's nice to see but this is actually my favorite accessory in the box this is the hot pizza transport bag right it's got a little receipt very legible receipt which is nice got two little straps hot every which way nice wash to it makes it look like someone in New York is carrying around this pizza bag delivering pizzas. Very squishy as well, and it pops open. And uh, yeah, you need a pizza box to put in there. NECA Toys has thought about that. Now, one thing I would have liked to have seen, the pizza box actually said Roy's on it. That would have been kind of cool. We have seen this pizza box before. And then, to be honest with you, for the price point, I would appreciate that they put a pizza pie in there. That's the one thing that's lacking, but it looks like Mikey got to it, right? So you take... The pizza box. You take the hot pizza box encasement glove <laughs> and you put the pizza box inside just like that and you're ready for transport. Just make sure it's locked up accordingly. You get the black box right here. You put the pizza warming bag inside the black pizza box. Well, now you need a, a vehicle to transport it. Well, 
good news, there's a scooter in the box as well. So it's an all-white Vespa-looking motorbike. It's old school, right? Very 80s, 90s to it. You don't see these a lot anymore, but I'm happy to say the wheels turn. It spins with the handlebars, the lights, the wear and tear on the bike itself is kind of cool, right? I like that. It looks lived in. It looks like somebody owns this bike. You know, right? You got the red lights, underside. You do have a little bit of a kickstand. It's not much of a kickstand, but it does a trick in keeping the figure aloft. But I do like you got the controls of the bike. You got the backside right here where this will pop out as such. If you want to put it back in, as you can see, it just simply slots into those holes right there around the back tail light. And that is where you're going to put the big black pizza box to adhere it to your bike. So you just line up the prongs just as such, and it stays on there oh so nice. And it does the trick for the most part, right? It's easy peasy. It's on there pretty well, unless you're gonna flip the bike over for some reason. Also, I did notice it kind of gets back heavy, so just keep that in mind. But it's really nothing you have to worry about. Just set it up on your shelf, and you really should be golden no matter what. Now, with the Kino action figure, it's pretty darn cool, right? That's Kino. I can't honestly tell you I needed a Kino figure, but NECA does such a great job with the turtles and the movies and everything else. Of course you need Kino, right? He's got his little red and white pizza vest. I noticed the paint from the sides on the arms is a little bit different from the shirt. Like the pockets are the correct red, but then the top part is a little bit of a, a distinct red. You're not going to really notice it. But I noticed it because I'm talking about it. You know what I mean? Roy's Pizza on the back right there. And you have all this little speculature all over the white parts of his jacket. Which, hey, adds to the realism. That's kind of cool. Now, he's got blue jeans on. He only has one pin throughout the entire figure. That's nice to see. Not really any paint whatsoever on the shoes. But from the 360 view, he looks pretty good. And you get some nice articulation with him as well. So you can swap out the heads. They go left, they go right. He's got his little Nightwing mullet. That's not going to get in the way of the articulation. His arms will go up. They'll spin at the elbow. He's got single jointed elbows, which double jointed would have been nice, but it really doesn't matter to me. Go really easy on the wrist. They will swivel, but when you want to move them around, just make sure maybe heat those up. Just FYI. He has a little bit of an ab crunch. He'll spin at the waist. You can kind of see under his shirt, it's got the slits on the side where you can get a little bit more out of it. It's not going to be much, but you can at least get him kicking up and kicking to the side, yada, yada. So it does look good. The knees work with you. He's got double jointed knees. So if you want to get him into some martial arts Ninja Turtle posing or better yet, fit him on the bike, it'll look great. But the extra hands, the extra portraits, it allows him for multiple displays. So very cool in that sense. Now with the bike, yeah, you better believe it. He fits on the bike. Oh, so natural. It looks pretty good. He holds on the handlebars, his feet firmly planted. Like I said, the bike will get a little bit top heavy. Also with the kickstand down, that'll kind of offset a little bit, but it's pretty sturdy. Set it and forget it. That's what I'm going to say. If you start knocking it around, it falls into something else. Yeah, it's going to take a tumble. But if you leave it just as so, you'll be totally good to go. Now, with the Ninja Turtles, because that's what you want to see when you line up Kino on your shelf, he looks great. That's a really nicely well done collection. NECA nailed it again. Very nice to see. But I got to say, they have done such a great job with the movie stuff. It just looks like the actors and the turtles right on your shelf, which makes for a really great display, makes for really fun photography. So you can have Kino delivering the pizza, of course, Mikey order it, Donatello is gonna check out that sweet bike, Leonardo observing the whole situation, and Raph, well, he's just mad at the situation because Mikey has taken way too long having a conversation. If you wanted to see the scalature between the Super Shredder and the Foot Soldiers, it works, right? He should be bigger than Kino in some fashion, the Foot Soldiers, that works. Super Shredder, he's going to be super tall. So nice to see. On the juxtaposition of that, remember Danny with the whole loot crate situation because he's on the T2 John Connor body? He's a little bit too tiny. He doesn't really match up. It's the size difference. Like, you could say they kind of match, but it's the overall size of the figures which are off, right? And if you were wondering, because I know a lot of you out there were, 
You can technically put the Ninja Turtles on this bike. Technically, that would be a vehicle for the movie line. Does it exactly work? The limited articulation in some sense with the Turtles. If you try it, you might be able to do it a lot better than I. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new San Diego Comic-Con 2023 NECA Toys exclusive Kino with Scooter. And I love how just simple that is. It's just Kino with Scooter, right? That's not to say that maybe later on they will release just a single Kino. They have released movie figures at Comic-Con before. Usually they go to Walmart, but it remains to be seen as they have not said either way. So fingers crossed, if you didn't get him at San Diego Comic-Con, perhaps you may see him later on. But as always, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Kino with Scooter. I mean, TMNT2, Secret of the Ooze. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, like I said, never knew I needed a Kino. But it's a darn good Kino. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.